a vinyl community and welcome youtubers from everywhere i'm out here in my laundry room that's where i clean records and keep supplies there's some of the outer sleeves right there you've all seen this before there's my fancy cleaning machine yeah that thing works great what i want to talk about today is saving money on archival inner sleeves here is the box from acoustic this box Hold 500 of the inner sleeves, the archival sleeves. Uh, years ago, you know, I got the MoFi sleeves, and then I started getting these. They got the QRP logo on them, quality record pressing. I probably ordered a 100 or something, and then, man, I'm going through these all the time. So I ordered 250 Well, this box holds 500 and I got their little price here. I don't think they sell them less than 250 anymore. I couldn't find it on their website. So you can get 250 of them for $72.25. This box of 500 is $136. Now I bought this three or four years ago. I'm sure it was cheaper back then and you can get a thousand for 255. Well, I got around 4,000 records in my collection. Why buy these things in packs of 10 or 25 or whatever? And I bought the smaller sizes, and finally I got the one big enough. It'll probably last me. So if you're going to get these uh, archival inner sleeves, now I bring home dollar records. If I bother to clean them up, log them into Discogs, I'm going to put one of these good inner sleeves on them. If they're worth dragging home, they're worth taking care of. Over here beside inner sleeves that come out of records that don't belong with them. I've been kind of saving those. I thought, hey, that'd be a great idea for a video because some of these inner sleeves just have fascinating information on them. So I say keep them spinning, but if you don't want them all filled with static when you go to play them, use these great archival inner sleeves and see you all down the trail. Happy trails! Until